Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I'm going to be playing The Sims 2 Open for Business today. I remember when this first came out and I played the base game to death at this point, so I was so excited to play it. I'm meant to be at work today and I've got the day off, which is great, so what better way to enjoy that newfound freedom by playing Open for Business on The Sims and pretending I'm still at work. So we're going to play as a florist today because I never actually did that. I tended to always play with a restaurant. I don't know why because it didn't really earn you a lot of money. Maybe it does and I just wasn't very good. So we're going to jump into the game. We're going to get started. Um, I want to start off in the house, but I imagine we're going to end up buying a business and moving to a community lot at some point. It's not going to be a very long playthrough. I'm not doing it as a series. It's always good this way because I can cheat and I can get things done faster. Otherwise, we'll be here forever. I am halfway through a massive recording streak, so I'm on second recording of the day. I'm planning on doing two more. So if you see me in the same jumper as this in another video, it was probably the same day. So please don't judge me for that. But let's get right into it. So I think we'll play in Veronaville. I never really played there as a kid and, you know, it's quite the idyllic looking thing. Perfect for a florist. Look at that. Beautiful. Because I'm the most creative person you've ever met, her name is Daisy Flowers. You know what, it's meant for weddings. Like, yeah, there's a veil there, but she has flowers in her hair and it makes sense. So that's, I'm keeping that hair. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, oh, this is very ugly. I mean, that looks like she's been punched in the face. There you go, you can have the basic bitch hair. Gen Z are going mad over the side parting, but who cares. What does a florist wear? <laughs> I don't know many florists. Like, this would be perfect, because it's got... Well, it's not flowers, but... We're already using that on one of the rags to riches, so I don't know if I should use it again. I absolutely hate that. I might make her wear it. Here we go, that has flowers on. She can wear that. I've been here for ages, I don't know why it took so long. <laughs> Straight to bed watching. I hate Sims 2 free time. So I'm going to make a bedroom and then like a floral studio. I really want downstairs to be a shop front, so I'm going to lock it off. There we go. I accidentally spent far too long on that. And I used the cheat that lets you move objects a bit closer together so that it's not all stuck to the grid. So I'm not even sure if I can actually walk around the house. But everything in a house is about flowers. The walls, the obviously the flower room, the flowers in the bedroom and stuff. And then... I haven't put any shelves here, just because I'm not sure how it works when it comes to actually selling flowers. But let's go get us and make some. Make many daisy bouquets. Hey, is that your name? It is. Oh, I should have called her daisy bouquets. Well, daisy flowers now. We're going to have to get over it. I'm changing this. This is about me. Daisy flowers. So we don't have that much money, so we're just going to blast through it all here. And from there, we'll start selling them. I still need to save enough money to buy the... Open for business sign. Did I forget to give you a kitchen? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Whatever. I'll start a business at home. Then I'll call a pizza. For the time being, I have nothing to sell. So everyone get out. Oi. Hey. Give me that pizza. Oh, I thought my want was to have a pizza. <laughs> it was to meet someone new. I'm going to place a cheap table. And then put one flower on there. The best florist in the world. I'm selling it for 41. Make one for 36. Oh, what a profit. This might be actually really difficult. <laughs> Maybe I should sell it. That's expensive. 45. Hello, millionaires. Daisy joining you. I want to do a basic sell on you. Whatever it means. That's what I want to do. Get off the pizza. It is for guests, but not for you unless you're buying. Do you want it yet? This guy is literally just here to eat pizza. He's not even here to buy flowers. And we got her to get a star too. I'll go and be the cashier. I remember it takes them absolutely ages when you first start. To the point where, like, it's not even funny. You know how much it costs. Press four and five. You've not got a watch on, so I don't know what you're checking. You condescending. <laughs> and what a day! 14 simoleons profit. We're up bright and early today. We're ready for another day. I can afford one more table, so let's, <laughs> let's throw that in there. Drop my first simoleon on the wall there as well. Why can't I do that? Hello? <laughs> Is the first simoleon in the room with us? Let's open. I should get changed. How long is it taking everyone to make a decision? They're all exactly the same. Right, I'm sorry, but none of you have watches on. Jill, give me that money. There are no more crafted items in the owner's inventory. Shit, close business. Do you know what? I'm taking a wholesale discount. And I'm going to start selling these flowers that are around me instead. Screw it. 
That's horrific. Whatever that is, I hate it. This guy's obsessed with this shop. Matthew Smith. Isn't that, um, Doctor Who? What are you doing here? Let's dream of the future. Let's have a look at the places that we can buy. Purchase of a community lot. Ah, oh, I haven't installed <laughs> the Open for Business Village. Uh, give me one minute and we will install that. Okay, I did it. Now we should be able to actually buy a community lot. A florist that's already ready for us would be cool, but I don't know if that was a thing. Daisy can't afford just flowers and more. Please choose a less expensive lot. Oh, our grandma just died, but she was fortunately very rich and we got 50,000 simoleons in the inheritance. Daisy is now the owner of just flowers and more. Everyone get out. This isn't a business anymore. This is my house. We've even got some Sims 1 music. This place is pretty cool, but I'm a little bit worried about how it's expecting me to make all of this stuff myself. Who are you? Get out. We aren't open. That's more like it. Look at that. Fully stocked. I might lower the prices though, because I've got them all expensive. So I'm going to say it as just average for now. Do you know what? Let's make the price for everything ridiculously cheap. And we're going to hire some people. I don't want to do the work anymore. I've become a tyrant in two days of owning a business. Xavier is good at sales. Oh, but Sonny's better. Aren't you good at flower arranging? You're meant for the job. Do you know what, Faith? I have, uh, I have faith in you. You can work for me. Xavier, screw it. You come as well. Xavier already has a job. I didn't ask. I'm here for my first day of work. Don't forget to assign me a job to perform. Oh, you absolute suck up. Okay, Faith. You're fired. <laughs> Change wage. Everyone's getting paid a ridiculous amount. Okay, we're opening for business. Everyone get ready. What does this shop actually look like? Awful. Sonny, I don't see you working this woman up. Oh, you are. There we are. She's good at the hard sell. We love to see it. I'm not as good as it as you, Sonny. <laughs> Teach me your ways. We lost a star. Sonny! Take a break. You're clearly overworked. You're doing a terrible job. You just did a good job there, but I'm still mad. Go take a break. I saw you scratching your pit there, Lisa. Excuse me. When I said take a break, I didn't say piss off for two hours. Get back to work. Joe Graham. I'm going to add to the law here. Daisy has daddy issues, so she's going to try it on with this guy. Joe! Please! <laughs> See, she's desperate. Joseph! That only makes her want him more. Sonny, I don't see... Oh, she's going to go watch TV and I'm going to lose it. Sonny, you're fired. No, no, no. Get out of here. Joe. I need to chat. Oh, call back in the morning. I'm trying to sleep here, Joe. Sorry, I work all hours of the day, so I forgot that uh, people sleep. At last, Daisy can read a customer like a book and has a new dazzle technique that can turn almost any item into must-have for a customer. Salesmanship like that is what gets the gold sales talent badge. That's definitely not what it said at the end, but <laughs> I ad-libbed. Okay, Jonathan, prepare to be dazzled. He doesn't seem keen. Oh, Jonathan, you are hopeless. Why can't I ask him to leave? <laughs> You're getting shooed instead. I was enjoying the Sims 1 music, but now it's a bit much. That witch just flew right in front of the screen. My shoppers prefer the smooth feels of R&B. Thank you very much. Now I need someone to do sales for me. I can do it as well. But I don't want to. There we are. I know you've got school pretty soon, but come into what? Just go play chess in the rain if you want. I won't worry. I'm going to give her a terrible wage. I've decided I want to be a horrible boss. You can have six simoleons an hour. And you have to wear a terrible uniform. Don't run away. Oh, there's a fire. <laughs> the rain will put it out. No need to worry. See? Told you. You have to dress as a ballerina for work, okay? Actually, I'm going to underpay everyone. I want a revolt. You paid far too much considering you can't do your job. You're paid less than anyone, okay? Four simoleons. And you get seven. If it makes you feel better, you are paid the most. So, I'm just going to let this go fast for a while. Um, so, I'm remembering that we're at 54... 54,711 simoleons. Oh, hang on. He's yelling at me, but is he quitting? He quit. 
So did she. <laughs> now I need to hire two more people. I'm going to hire everyone. I'm going to make you a cashier. I'll get a second till. For the Americans, by the way, till is whatever that is. <laughs> Your cashier thing. Okay, now remember we're at 52,500, which is a nice easy number to remember. I'm going to speed it up and we're going to see how this goes. Okay, Daisy's satisfying those daddy issues. She's found someone she's got chemistry with. We don't like each other, but this will keep me busy while we work to see how much money we don't have at the end of this. This pretty gross relationship is developing, but it helped our business get an extra rank, so... <laughs> Maybe we should just flirt with every customer we have. I'm not going to lie, being inappropriate with customers is a really good way to build a business. <laughs> His customer loyalty is going up very quickly. I think someone's quitting. <laughs> I paid him so well. I don't know if I can't handle this job anymore, I quit. I mean, I guess I haven't let anyone go home at any point ever, but that still doesn't seem like a justifiable reason to not work. Okay, so I've left it running for a while and we are 13,000 simoleons down since we started the shop. Around 6,000 simoleons lost the day. <laughs> but we're not in this for the money, we're in it for the passion of making flowers, which we stopped doing. And bossing people around. And having too many employees and making them work for too long. That's my passion. I've just thrown in a random outside photo booth. You'll see why. Matthew's going to join us in the photo booth. Just for pictures, nothing weird. Try for a baby. Give me your baby. <laughs> oh, we're being caught. And I'm pregnant. <laughs> Brilliant. What does the public woohoo say? Drying on clothes is more fun than I thought. Well, you know, the bigger the risk, the bigger the thrill. What were you doing in there? Why are we trying on clothes? Daisy is sad that this place isn't earning her what she thought it would. So she's going to rely on the insurance money by burning the place to the ground. Just pop a few of those around. Not too many. Just about 80. Oh, I didn't expect them to go off straight away. I thought I had to turn them on. <laughs> oh, we lost a reputation point for the business. <laughs> the business is leaving, losing favour with its patrons. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't understand. There's so much fire you literally can't even see through here. Oh, the phone's ringing Daisy. The employees don't care. One of them's fully engulfed in flame, and she's still stood there, you can tell by just her feet. <laughs> okay, we have a minus one rank, which I've never seen before. I didn't know you could even do that. Someone died. <laughs> I'm still alive. Oh, I might have said that too soon. Is anyone going to save me? No, I'm dead. <laughs> well, who's going to get the insurance money now? It's going to have to go to Faith. So it looks like all of your sims have died on the lot. Now what? Well, you can always exit this lot without saving. That way, the next time you load this lot, you will return to your last save point. Or you can wait until the ghost of your beloved sim returns home. The choice is yours. What? In the event of Daisy Flowers passing, the flowers, the following businesses have been bequeathed to Titiana Summer Dream, effective immediately. Just flowers and more. Who the fuck is Titiana Summer Dream? <laughs> Well, I'm still there. I'm just wandering around. Is everyone else just disappearing? Or did they die? What is happening? What's the whistle? Am I kicking people out? I am. <laughs> City on a summer dream is the owner of just flowers and more. And I guess I'm just going home. Am I a ghost now? Forever? Well, I guess that's the end of that one. I still don't really know what happened at the end there. I don't know if Daisy's dead or alive. Well, she's very much dead, but I don't know if a ghost is still around. It's always fun to play The Sims 2, though. It was good to play as a florist. I've never done that before. I mean, I know I didn't do that much gameplay as a florist in the end, because as always, I get distracted and I kill Sims. But if you're a regular watcher, I'm sure that is exactly what you expect from me by now. I can't change. I can't stay focused enough to follow through on what my initial target was. Even though I didn't re really have a target there, I was just playing for the sake of playing. And it was fun. It was good. But thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, please feel free to subscribe. It really helps the channel. And drop a like or comment as well if you want to. So I hope I see you in the next one. And I will catch you very soon. Thanks for joining.